done a good portion of okay. a book. Um, I was waiting on a few things, um, hoping that the Sports Hall of Fame would come through, and they have, and that's just the New Orleans one. Um, oh, great. You know, we're, ho great. we're hoping for some others. Louisiana has one. And um, I also have a lot of newspaper articles that my dad had in his belongings that are written in Spanish, and I've been trying wow. to go through those. Um, and, and, you know, I see his name in there, so I know they're talking you know, about him in some right. form or fashion, so I'm translating those. Wow. Because that I do want, you know, as much as I have to be a part of the story. That, that and, is really something. Do you have a, so a publisher I, yet? Have you? Uh, I do not. I do not. Yeah, I, I need one. <laughs> I, I uh, I'll say this uh, to help you along with this. There's a publisher I um, who always comes on the show a lot. A lot of their books uh, they funnel to me over the years. But you might want to look at McFarland Press. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of Negro League publications. A lot of the folks that you know on Facebook. Okay. Have been involved in that. I really would consider them because I think mm -hmm. they would love to have the manuscript of your father's story. I think it would be interesting. And there are a lot of folks that like to read do it. That. Right. I would definitely do this. And and I have to thank thank people like, you know, Lester and uh Lee and uh Bob Kendrick. Right, um, who ha have assisted me, you know, in ways along my journey, uh, and I really appreciate that. And actually, the group in Daytona reached out to me. I don't know if it's because I was on Facebook, and uh, when they talked about it, I didn't know anything about Jackie Robinson's ballpark in Daytona. Oh yeah, and it's not the place of the original training camp, but it's it's near. And from what he told me, from what I'm told, the guy was Josh McCain. He's since left the organization and introduced me to the person that took his place. Um, he was the one that was curious about my dad's story. And so when the new person came on, um, Rachel, I said, Rachel, just out of curiosity, since you're going to take up you know, where Josh left off. Had you heard about my dad? She said, no, I never had. Wow. So the ballpark is, is not only a park, you know, for the games that are held there, uh, the Daytona Tortugas, but it's also like an outdoor museum. That's and tough. so the, the plan is to recognize that at the park. Um, in some form or fashion. I'm not sure as to yet what they've decided, finally decided on. I hope they do that. that that'll that be really something if you can go down there for the celebration. And have the, um, I'm curious too, before we conclude this, have, the, have you reached out to the Dodgers, the Brook, you know, the LA Dodgers, since the Brooklyn Dodgers were the team that signed him? Have they reached out to you or you reached out to them? I have not. Um, I reached out to, you know, the Sports Hall of Fame, the Major League Sports right. Hall of Fame, way before they did made the decision to include the Negro Leagues. And, I, you know, whoever I reached there, I don't recall just now, but they said that I'll send you what I have. And I said, you actually have something on my father? And they sent me, it was something like 85 pages wow. of articles and information. So I'm thinking, so they've been tracking this, all of this information all along, yeah. you know? Um, and I did not realize that they kept records of that type, you know? So, but no, I have not, to answer your initial question, I have not reached out to them. Yeah, I think they may have some information too, the uh, Dodgers. They might be surprised. I'm sure mm -hmm. they do. They probably have the contract that your father signed, a little bit of everything. I'm sure of that. Pictures, yeah. you know, so I would reach out, you know, you should reach out to them. But yeah, I really am just, you know, 
anything I can do, and just by having you on the show, because this reach is not only, because it's based in Colorado, the show. I'm based in Thailand, as people know, but it reaches all over the world. So hopefully someone out there will come out of, you know, out of the blue and say, hey, Carlos, I can help you. I can do this for you. So if anyone wants to get a hold of you, what is the best site to reach you at? Where should they call, you know, reach you at? Well, I'm, I'm on Facebook. I don't do a lot of the, you know, media. Um, I just recently got on Facebook to do part of this research because I right. heard about the Historical Negro League group. I just joined the other one um, that researches the Winter Leagues just a couple of days ago to you know, yeah. submit some things to them and ask some questions as well. Right. But it's Carlos Robinson. And I am on Facebook. It's C-A-R-L-I-S. And here's the thing. My dad is John Wright. So people get us confused. I'm not related to Jackie Robinson. Right. <laughs> I, happen, I happen to marry a Robinson. Right. But, but it's Carlos Wright. Robinson. You know, so remember that listeners out there. Please help Carlos if you can. And uh, oh tell um my listeners your father's nickname. He was known as Johnny Needlenose Wright. <laughs> <laughs> and oddly enough, so many of them had nicknames. Yeah. Oh yeah. You could do I could do a oh, whole many. you could do a whole encyclopedic book on the nicknames of Negro Leagues of the players. And 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 because of uh, Jackie Robinson Day and all of the tributes, I saw a documentary and this documentary was back in the 40s. It was after he was drafted to the Dodgers and he played himself. Have you seen that one? And Ruby about- D played his wife? Oh yeah. Yeah. In fact, I have a uh, 1950, that, yeah, I, that's why I first got into Jackie Robinson when I was a kid in the 60s. I saw it on television. Well, all of the movies, all of the documentaries that I've seen about him, I have never, had never seen that particular one. Oh. And so I watched it, and as I was watching it, they flashed a newspaper clipping, and it was quick. So I paused the screen, I backed it up, and it was, it was a picture of him and Daddy. And their names were listed underneath, and you could tell it was a newspaper article. Oh, I have to that, check that out again. I did. Yeah, I'll go on that's, YouTube and look for that. Stop. Yeah. Yeah. Stop that. I want to see that. That's only the second time I've seen there was a documentary, and I want to say it was on PBS a few years ago that wow. actually talked about my dad, and I had never seen anything before that mentioned him. Because you know but, the new movie that came out of Catherine. Baldwin did the great Chasman Baldwin did a uh, forty two. There's no mm-hmm. mention of your father in it at all. There's no mention, you know, right. there's no mention of him. And it's really, you know, that's one of the things that kind of bo- I like the movie in one sense, but the other sense that kind of bothered me. And some other things that they kind of fictionalized in that movie. But yeah, I'm just so happy to have you on today, Carlos, and hope to have you on again when when your book comes out because I know it's going to come out. You know, I know, and maybe, you know, I'm just hoping that someone out there will help you with this. We'll do what we can here on the Root and Root Show. But I want to thank you so much, Carlos. And what do you want, what do you want to leave uh, listeners with as far as your father's legacy? What would you, one thing you'd like to say? i just like to say that, you know, Daddy was there, and there's no, virtually no trace or remembrance of him. History kind of skipped over that period that he signed and was there for a a short period of time, but he was there. But I do understand, and I, I do want people to realize, I'm not trying to take anything away from Jackie Robinson and all that he accomplished. I realized that they focused on the one, you know, because they had to kind of step daddy to the side to focus on him. But I recently read an article 
And they said that when he finally, finally made it, there was not one newspaper article about him either. They focused on the winning score of the game. Wow. And it was much later that they even recognized Jackie Robinson. So it was, you know, it was the times, the sign of the times. And uh, I just want daddy's place in history to be remembered. It will be, you know, it is, you know, the work you've been doing and what others are doing, it's being remembered and it will be remembered. And Carlos, I just want to thank you so much for being on. I'm going to have you on again when you had that book out. You know, we'll get you back oh, on here. So thank you so much. Good. You take care. Thank you so much, Carlos. Thank you. And that was Carlos Robinson, a great, great person to talk to. I would definitely have her on again. You know, and if anyone out there is listening to the interview, if you can help her in any way, she gave the information, go to Facebook and look for her. If you can help her as far as writing the book, because it's not easy. You know, I mean, she's been, you know, trying her best to get the newspaper articles together and talk, interview some folks to learn about her father's uh, legacy in the Negro Leagues. But if you can help, you know, find a publisher, whatever you can do. I offered one publisher, but there's others out there. If you can do it and help her, that will be really greatly appreciated. You know, something you can do. And by the way, uh, I made a little error in, in spelling. I'm not the greatest speller, but I mentioned... Um, a, a company called Flavor that would help out as far as composition, writing things, a little bit of everything. It's F I V E R R dot com. F I V E R R dot com. So that's the name of the company, Flavor. And now we're going to get to another flavor here, but kind of same, related to the same subject, which is the Negro Leagues. So, and I, as I said earlier, you know, being on radio, being on various uh, places on the internet like Facebook, you meet a lot of people. Some you never meet in person, but you become, you know, you just become acquaintances. Sometimes you become friends with them. Some people I eventually have met in person. And this next gentleman, uh, I've met him on Facebook on the uh, Historic Negro League site that's created by uh, Will Clark. And I'm talking that Will Clark had played uh, for the Giants and the Texas Rangers. But I'm talking about uh, the Will Clark, who really has done a great job with the Negro League uh, Facebook site. And who I'm interviewing next is uh, Bob Cohen. And he's done, a, I think, a remarkable job of creating uh, some cards, which he'll talk about on this interview now. So let's listen to Bob Poet right now on the Root & Root Show. All right. I, you know, being on radio and being um, also on the Internet or various places, I happen to meet a lot of people over the years and met many people over the years. And uh, one of the folks I met, he actually was calling into my show a couple of times when I was in America uh, is a fellow who um, I really like the series he's doing on Facebook. And who I'm talking about is uh, Bob Poet out in, I believe, California. Are there, Bob? Well, I'm in Nevada, but yes, Lake Tahoe. Okay, I'm in Nevada close, enough, close enough. That's close enough there. Yes, sir. From well, Bangkok, it's, it's damn close. <laughs> I'm okay. doing great tonight. Great. Okay, that's good to know. Now, you know, Bob, I was really fascinated with, and I talked to you, you called in my show two years ago, and I mm-hmm. wanted to talk to you about the Bond Bread series you're doing, so Tell my listeners about that, because I think it's a really good thing you're doing. It's very intricate. And also talk about how you decided to get into the Negro Leagues, your love of the Negro League baseball, Black baseball. Wow, yes. Well, the Negro Leagues, I, I can't tell you exactly how it started, but, but I'm, I've got my uh, cap on, and I'm taking it off right now to Will Clark, because he's the one that, one way or another, led me to the... Uh, historical Negro League baseball page on Facebook. Um, and he's got some other interests too. You know, he's in the car. Okay, okay, we know music. that. Oh, and Will Clark, by the way, okay. I'll probably have him on the show eventually. But I want to know, you know, okay. I want to know why mm-hmm. you got interested in the Negro Leagues. I mean, what would make you go to that mm-hmm. site? There must have been you something know, in you. Yes, I understand what you're asking. And I, w- and I can't give you a real definitive answer except it makes me happy. 
And the closest thing I've ever 